today we have got a very important uh, topic biometry in a special conditions like in a very high myope or in a very high short eye hypermetrope previously i have showed you a video on how to calculate uh, a routine intraocular lens number but today i performed biometry of this uh, posterior polar looking um, cataract uh, in a 60 years old uh, female patient uh, she was the mother of my dear friend surgeon so her k readings were uh, normal you can clearly see the cataract uh, that gives you a picture of uh, polar cataract now here you can see that uh, both eyes have almost similar k readings uh, the right eye have uh, got myopia minus 4 and cell one minus 1.5 and left has got error and she was having decrease of vision in the left eye so we are planning to operate her left eye but k readings are quite normal 44 and 46 but when i calculated her axial length it was 26 millimeters so it was a quite a long eyeball and her IOL number came out to be 11.50 diopter sphere now that's not a normal IOL power whenever you get such a number uh, such a deviation such a large deviation from the norm always perform several scans of both eyes not even one eye but of both eyes and correlate IOL power with anterior chamber depth, axial length and keratometric values. Compare the axial lengths of both eyes and the difference should be no more than 0.3 mm in majority of the cases. But if there is a major difference, look for posterior staphyloma or some other pathology in the eye. So when I got 11.50 diopter sphere number of one eye, I performed the whole process again and the number came out to be plus 12 diopter sphere and then I proceeded to the other eye and the second eye axial length was 26 millimeter 2 within uh, 0.3 millimeter difference range and the IOL number came out to be plus 12 diopter sphere so that's how I confirmed that there is no biometry error and uh, we have done biometry correctly newer formulas incorporate regression analysis based on large number of post-op results uh, axial length now what is axial length axial length is the distance between the anterior surface of the cornea up to the fovea and it is one of the major contributor to the iol calculation as i performed contact applanation method make sure not to compress the cornea too much because you will make the eye short and eye well number will be erroneously increased from normal each millimeter of error results in almost 3.5 diopter sphere inaccuracy in eye well power calculation if you have this knowledge then if you know the normal axial length the normal range in adults is 22 to 24 millimeter and here in this patient it is 26 millimeter so as we know the normal IOL power uh, centers around plus 20 diopter sphere and in one millimeter of axial length gives 3.5 diopter sphere power so the with uh, 26 millimeter more than 2 millimeter uh, from normal it should be plus 12 or plus 13 so it means we have done our biometric correctly and in the next video i'll show you how to perform phaco in polar cataracts thank you very much